Hey everyone, it's Trish here from Techniques by Trish and welcome to day three of my fall mini series. I have one more card for you guys after this one and then I will be starting my holiday card series. So today I'm using the Neat and Tangled Maple Thanks stamp set. It's one of their mini stamp sets and I love this maple leaf. So I went ahead and stamped it out with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I pulled up the image of leaves just like on a Google search. I just wanted to see what fall leaves, how the colors worked out. And so I grabbed some of my Zig um, clean brush, real clean color, real brush um, markers and I'm using numbers 70, 24, 50, 52, 41, 22, 91, and 45. I'll have them listed here in the upper left hand corner and I will also have them listed on my blog as well. So I stamped this maple leaf out onto some Tim Holtz um, Distress Watercolor Paper with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then I am just going in with my um, Zig markers and just laying down some color. Now the first one I wanted to stick with some oranges and yellows and then this one I decided I would go ahead and do a green um, center with the vine and some oranges and reds and I really love how this just melded together and looked and so I went ahead and did the third flower um, roughly about the same way but I did add a little bit more of a light orange and dark orange and just little touches of red here and there. And then after I did that, I decided that that first um, maple leaf wasn't, it was kind of out of place because it didn't have the green um, core. So I went ahead and went back over that and applied the green and a little bit of reds to it as well to make it look more like a fall maple leaf. So you'll see here, I'm just applying a little bit more color on top and then using my watercolor brush, this is a Pentel one, and um, just adding a little bit more color on top. Now, my original idea was to go ahead and cut out these maple leaves, but I liked how they looked kind of staggered, and so I went ahead and stamped a few more onto this panel, and then I'm gonna go ahead and color them the same exact way, and I decided that I would just leave it like this and have my own little patterned paper that I could use on my card that I made myself. Again, I'm just going in with the same colors and the same technique for these last um, couple of maple leaves. Now once I've done that, I decided that I didn't really like the stark white background, and so I'm taking um, this light gray marker and going around the maple leaf just to give it a little bit more color towards the back. Now I'm trying very carefully not to pull any of the color from the leaf while I'm using the gray, but unfortunately that happened a couple of times. I just went as carefully as I could and if I pulled a little bit of color I'm just brushing it off onto a clean cloth and just going with it. So now you see here I have a little bit of dimension behind those leaves which I like. And then I'm going in with this high swap color shine and I'm using the color black and I'm just taking um, the spray cap and just flicking um, dots all over this panel. I wanted it to be a little bit more distressed and this is so not like me but I really like how it turned out. So once I went ahead and did that, I pulled out my watercolor palette. Now this is the, I always mess this up, the Kurataki Gonsai Tombi watercolors. And I'm using the um, white and I'm just spraying some water in there and getting it really thick and then using my paintbrush to go ahead and splatter that. And as if that was not enough, I decided that I need to add some gold. And so I'm using the Heidi Swap Color Shine in the gold color and applying splatters of that onto the panel as well. Now the gold was a very subtle, but it did add a little bit of interest. I could have easily just left it with the black and white, but I don't know, something told me that I need to add the gold, so we went with it. Now I'm just heat setting it with my heat tool before I go ahead and proceed with finishing off this card. Now I did use the Lawn Fawn, um, this one is the X-stitched rectangles, and you can see right there around the corner that I had the X stitch and then I put that aside and decided to go with my sentiment. Now this card is a complete one hit wonder card. Um, I've done a couple of these in the past. It's where I'm just using one stamp set to really complete my whole entire card and so I'm using the same sentiment that's in the stamp set and I'm using some Ranger gold tinsel embossing powder to um, 
heat set that sentiment. And then I decided that I need some gold strips and I really wanted it to match the sentiment. So I am just using Versamark ink and pressing that all over this white cardstock scrap. And then I'm applying the same um, tinsel embossing powder and I'm heating it from the back to start out so that I'm not blowing off all of that glitter. And then I'm finishing off on the top and you'll see here, this is my favorite is when the embossing powder just melts and that's when you know that it is done. So once I went ahead and heat set that, I'm getting all of the items I need to finish my card. I have some of this cool tack clear um, foam tape and I'm applying that onto the back of my sentiment so that you don't see it when through the vellum and I'm just literally applying that um, behind each of the words to get a little bit of dimension from my pattern paper card um, watercolor that I created and I decided that I would go ahead instead of just um, putting this straight across the card I would add a little bit of interest and make it um, a little bit of a diagonal so this card is like totally different from anything that I normally create but I really love how it turned out so I'm going to go ahead and apply that sentiment onto my panel and then on the back of it, I'm just using some super strong adhesive and attaching that around the watercolor panel. Once I went ahead and finished that, I also attached just one strip of that gold glitter embossed paper on underneath my sentiment. And again, I just attached it to the back just as I did with the sentiment portion. I then have a piece of fun foam and I'm using some um, score tape. Now you do not need a three inch or four inch, I think this is three inch score tape, but I did have this in my stash from when I used to create some mini albums. And since I no longer do that, I decided that I would use it up on these bigger pieces instead of using a ton of the quarter inch um, score tape, which is what I normally use. So I'm just going ahead and coating all of my foam, fun foam and peeling that off, applying it onto the panel of my card. And then I'm going to go ahead and peel that and apply it onto my four and a quarter by five and a half car, craft card base. This is the Nina Desert Storm 80 pound, no, 100 pound card stock, sorry. And I'll go ahead and apply it. And that completes my card. Super simple, but I really love how distressed it looks. And I just love how those maple leaves turned out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this card. Again, I have one more fall themed card for you guys before I start on my holiday holiday card series. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.